always thank you. Yes. this is over you can easily correct the edges with uh, emery cloth or um, p60 sandpaper so thank you so much guys for watching um what is happening is uh today i'm trying to make um, a rattan bread basket so before we usually do the weaving we usually make the this thing that looks like a coaster thereafter um we usually make holes in the next video i'm going to show you how we use uh, how we make our holes so thank you so much and please like and share my content thanks yes hi everybody my name is Oscar Tibet now uh, we, are, we are we are the second part of how we do the dresses for the other baskets so what i have with me here is a
first question is make sure the words are So thank you so much for watching this uh, short video. Uh, we'll be able to share some more. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Yeah, greetings everybody once more. This is uh, part three of the video. So right now I'm going to show you how I do the weaving of uh, the, the rattan basket. So what, you, what I have with me now is the, is the board together with the, the cane here. I've just forgotten I need to add another another stand here like I said before weaving the um, these stands they have to be an odd number not even so that's how it is so when I'm weaving I'll make sure I have a certain belt here so anyway, now I'm good to go Closer so that they can see. Um, this is called a belt. The purpose of the belt is to is to cover the holes, so that so that there is no um, there are no holes here. So I usually go one round. Then when it's going to the second one, I cut from behind, one, two, then I make sure the can goes in. It's very important to have the can well soaked in water so that it doesn't break and so that it can be flexible enough. So for stability of, of the stands, I have to add other pieces. From the right, right hand side,
that. So what happens next? We have to cut this skin. Now we're almost reaching the final part of the basket. Then I noticed um, the cane has, has begun drying. So I'll have to re-soak it in water again. Yeah, this is where it reaches. Then I re-soak it in water. It's one of the reasons why we use the base than um, as compared to using the base it's usually more stable and you economize on the cane and also time so now we are doing the the bottom so we do the bottom then we just have to cut it a little Is a bit tight, so to cut there as well. Yeah, now we are almost coming to the final part, so of the bottom. So that's what we do. To make sure three are out so the most important thing is to make sure the pattern continues such that you're not able to know where it started or where it ended yeah. now we are done with the bottom now we are coming to the top this one looks a little tight so have to go off go that one. At times the can can break, so if it breaks, you just add another joint on that side. Yeah, so now that's why you have the basket. Now we are doing the, the top. So two go out, two in, two out. Two in, two out. So when two, two go in, you make sure the, the two from behind, they go out again. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so when the two go out, you make sure they, they go in and two out again. And you make sure the two, just the same, same pattern. Now when you reach the end, it still does not stop there. So what happens, you have to cut the excess skin.
make sure all the excess skin is cut out. As you can see now, you are not able to tell where I started and where I ended. Everything is uniform. So you come under again, and you make sure you cut the excess skin. Make sure the cane hides in there. Now, that's what happens. Now you can see the basket is complete. There are ways of uh, for example, if you really want, if the basket is really in urgent need and you want to take it to the client, you can, um, you can try the water using a heat gun. Or you just leave it, uh, you just leave it somewhere, but you make sure there is no excess heat because if there is excess heat, then it can, um, excess heat can warp the, the base. So now we've come to the end of our video. I really appreciate the engagement. And I noticed at least we are, we are getting, people are promoting us, like sharing our content. And um, that's why we're able to grow. So thank you so much and God bless.